Ah, oh, Among Us. Such a basic game, but really fun. But don't let this happy Among Us character fool you. There is always a dark side. I'm sure by now many of you already heard about No Visor and my recent encounter with his brother, also known as Yes Visor. The last time that I saw both of them, they were ghosts. And Yes Visor is after his brother. But little does Yes Visor know that No Visor already found out about his plan. And let's just say that it didn't end very well. And before we get any further into this video, if you do enjoy my content want to see more make sure to drop a like down below and if you're new to the channel and don't want to miss a video make sure you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on you are always welcome to be part of the chari family but now let me tell you everything that happened so do you ever get on among us and question what is going on. Well, that's me every day. And this game was no different. I joined the first lobby that I saw on my screen. And in the lobby, No Visor was here. One of the most dangerous players in all of Among Us. And the thing that really confused me was that I had the same hat as No Visor. I don't remember putting it on. But since I'm a very curious crewmate, I kept it on to see what would happen. Cause I'm positive that No Visor's behind this. And one thing that surprised me was that No Visor wasn't playing with his brother, which is Yes Visor. The last time that I saw both of them, they were ghosts in the lobby. A player in the chair then recommended that we should squad up. And I told them, there's no way I'm teaming up with No Visor. A player like him shouldn't be someone you should mess with or even think about teaming up. We got into the game and no visor spawned with me which was really creepy. I don't want to be anywhere near him but I got curious and I followed him and he took me all the way to communications which is a location that I have seen no visor and yes visor. I walked inside to see what no visor was doing and I could hear this creepy sound coming from the radio. It sounded like someone talking, but I couldn't really understand. Is my antenna detecting it? My screen then randomly froze, and I was kicked out of the game for no reason. Since my game wasn't working, I was forced to restart, and No Visor was already there. I don't know how he knows that I'm gonna join that lobby. We got into the game with only five players. I don't know why they started the game so early. And since No Visor didn't spawn in with me, I went to go check the map. And that is when I saw a player in communications. So I left and I went to go check. And No Visor was right next to the machine. I could hear that creepy sound again. Where is it coming from? I know it's coming from the radio, but who is causing it? No Visor then left the room. And the moment he did that, communication was sabotaged. What a coincidence. So I fixed communications. And now I can go look for No Visor. Since the airship map is massive, I'm gonna go over to security. And I'm going to check the cameras. Since it will give me a view across the entire ship. As I was scrolling, I found No Visor in Cargo Bay. And I'm pretty sure that he knew that I was looking at him because he left. And then No Visor appeared right next to me. I closed the cameras and I couldn't believe it. How did he get over here so quickly? There isn't any vents that connect to security. But I ran towards a meeting room. And I wanted to call a meeting, but then I changed my mind. I can probably outrun him. Since nobody will believe me. And I hid in the viewing deck. It was now dead silent. Just me and my thoughts. And if things couldn't get any worse, the lights turned off. After I got done, I returned back to cameras and I saw No Visor in the engine room. Why is he next to the cameras over and over? And after what happened earlier, he's gonna appear right next to me. So I scrolled and I saw No Visor's ghost right next to me. So I quickly closed the cameras and he wasn't there. What? What was that then? So I went over to the Hall of Portraits, and the door was closed, and right behind the door was No Visor. He chased me down again, but this time I'm not giving No Visor another chance. I'm gonna go call a meeting, but then a sabotage was called, and it ruined everything. No one wanted to fix the sabotage with me. Why are the crewmates turning on each other? But by some miracle, we got the job done. I called a meeting. And no visor was spamming no visor in the chat. But he was with me the majority of the time. 
So it can't be him. So I voted for Shrek. And no visor did as well. Sabotages were being called constantly. And no visor was chasing me across the map. I have to be next to the other players. And luckily the rest of the players were with me. And we were going around the meeting room. But something tells me that no visor wants this. He's doing some sort of summon. The lights then turned off. And it made this game even more scarier. The players were disappearing. And then Green killed me. No Visor ended up getting ejected. And Shrek won the game. I then got into another game expecting No Visor. But it was his brother. No Visor was nowhere to be seen. And by some miracle, we started the game with only three players. So does that mean that No Visor is in here? He's just in his ghost form. It showed that I was a crewmate. But there was two Yes Visors. And no one else. When I got into the game, I spawned inside of the brig, and I spawned in twice. It gave me the option again. I completely ignored that, and I found Yes Visor in the engine room. And when we entered the mini hallway, he vanished. I found him in communications. He didn't go that far, but I heard the noise again. And Yes Visor was following his brother's footsteps. Quite literally. So I followed Yes Visor to see what he would do. But every time that I chased him, he would just teleport. Until eventually I lost him. I wanted to check the camera since I was an electrical. But there was no entrance. Usually there's always a pathway to go into security. But this time there was nothing. Everything was blocked. So I had to use my legs and walk around. And I checked the cameras because I really didn't want to go around the airship. I scrolled through the cameras and I didn't see a single crewmate. That is until I checked the meeting room and I saw Yes Visor's ghost. He was just floating there. So I closed the cameras and I went to go check in the meeting room. And when I got there, there was nothing. Am I in some sort of ghost lobby? I haven't seen Brown anywhere. So I called the meeting and Yes Visor was just spamming Yes Visor. And I asked him, what are you doing? I haven't seen you all game, Brown. And when I spawned in, there was two Yes Visors. Who are you? His name was literally Sussy Baka. I'm voting for him. And when I did that, I got disconnected. I was thrown into a random game, and I was the imposter. And I looked around the airship to see if I could find No Visor and Yes Visor, and I found him in communications. They were just both staring at each other, face to face. And they did really stress me out last game, and I'm the imposter. So I closed the door, and since both of them weren't moving, I killed No Visor. I thought Yes Visor would report his body, so I killed both of them. Their bodies were now perfectly aligned, but then I got the message. Danger, danger, danger. And I heard the noise coming from the radio. This time it was much louder. My screen then began to flicker, and I saw No Visor and Yes Visor right in front of me. This time they were both ghosts. No Visor then used his electric ability and tried to shock Yes Visor. But since No Visor's a ghost, he was able to dodge it. Yes Visor then used his electrostatic wave and it hit No Visor. No Visor was sent back and he was badly damaged. Yes Visor then charged at No Visor since he was on the ground and began to slam him. Wow, I didn't know Yes Visor was ruthless. But No Visor wasn't gonna give up. He threw Yes Visor back. And now he was on top of Yes Visor, slamming him on the floor. Oh, this battle's getting really intense. Yes Visor managed to get No Visor off of him, and it was a stalemate. They both charged up their abilities and used it at the same time, which was a horrible idea for all of us. It caused an explosion that threw me out of the airship, and I was now lost in space. I'll be back soon, but so will they. If you would like to know what happened next, make sure to drop a like down below. I do also want to give a shout out to Kitty King for helping me produce this video. If you would like to support a smaller creator, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more Among Us story videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. And check out these other Among Us story videos that are found on my channel.